Oral presentations on functions and uses. Mastering descriptions in English. Hello, language enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. In this lesson, we're going to concentrate on oral presentations on functions and uses, a crucial part of our series on describing things in English. This topic will help you express ideas more clearly and vividly in your conversations. Let's first discuss what we mean by functions and uses. When we talk about the function of something, we're referring to its purpose or what it is designed to do. For example, the function of a pen is to write. On the other hand, uses can refer to different ways that an object can be utilized. For instance, besides writing, a pen can be used as a bookmark or to reset some electronic devices. When delivering an oral presentation, it's essential to have a clear structure. This will make your speech more coherent and easier to follow. Start with an introduction where you name the object you're going to discuss. Next, in the main body, describe the functions and uses of the object, giving details and examples. Finally, wrap it up with a conclusion, summarizing the main points. Choosing the right language and vocabulary can significantly enhance your presentation. Use clear, simple language and action verbs when describing functions and uses. For instance, say, a pen writes on paper, not, a pen is something you can use to put words on paper. Additionally, include adjectives and adverbs to make your descriptions more vivid and engaging. Let's take a few examples to practice. Consider the smartphone. Its primary function is to facilitate communication, but it can also be used as a camera, a calculator, a flashlight, etc. Try describing this on your own, remembering to use the appropriate language and structure we've just discussed. And that's it for today's lesson. With these tips and guidelines, You'll be able to deliver effective oral presentations, describing functions and uses with ease. Keep practicing, and remember, the best way to learn is to keep using the language. Thanks for joining us, and see you in our next lesson.